Afternoon, Die Hard. Sorry about last night. Had a little bit of a toothache. Wasn't able to post this video, but I hope it finds you very well. The Red Sox were able to win a tight game. Rick Porcello continues his magic season. If Chris Sale wasn't in front of him, he'd probably be a Cy Young candidate if his ERA was down as well. Seven innings pitched, two hits allowed, one earned run, which was a solo shot given up in the fifth inning to Rice Hopkins. Um, just unbelievable effort by Porcello. Heath Henry bounced back with a scoreless eighth, and Craig Kimball finished him off in the ninth with a scoreless ninth, uh, giving him his 36th save of the season. He, uh, in 40 tries, he now has a um, season high for him, 76 Ks in 50 innings. He's never been able to do that throughout his career. That's how um, flamethrowing he's been this season, throwing the ball really well as far as, um, you know, being able to strike out guys at a rapid rate. Mookie Betts had a hit, so he keeps his average kind of in the same spot, hitting 350. It was a double in the eighth. Sandy Leone hit a solo home run to get the Red Sox offense started and gave them a 1-0 uh, lead early on in the game. It's nice to see Sandy hitting in the bottom of the lineup. J.D. had a single, so his average is at 333 as he continues his MVP uh, chase along with Mookie Betts. Ben, Andrew Benintendi was 0 for 4, his average is at 2.98, and Xander Bogarts 1 for 4, 274, uh, but Bogey's starting to get hot. Him and Jackie Bradley are streaky hitters. They're starting to get both get hot, and if they get hot at the right time, um, that could be a good thing, because especially coming down the stretch here with these type of games. After last night's play, the Red Sox have a 10 game lead over the Yankees. With 41 games remaining, the Yankees have 43 games remaining. Um, so, the Red Sox have an 11 and a half game lead over the Houston Astros for home field advantage all the way through the playoffs, including the World Series. That seems more safe than the division. Uh, me and my buddies picked dates on when we clinch. I have September 12th. John, I believe, took the, I want to say the 11th. Jack Graham and Andy Lento, two diehard Red Sox fans that we both love. Jack had the 16th, Andy, Jack had... Jack had the 16th, Andy had the 15th, so we'll see. It's just fun to pick these things and see where we're at. American League wildcard chase. The Yankees have a three and a half game lead over Oakland, a seven game lead over the Mariners. I think that's pretty safe. I don't see that. The Yankees missing the playoffs unless um, they were completely to collapse, even though they're not playing good baseball right now. But Red Sox continue to win again. Porcello the story, seven innings pitched. Just gave up one bad pitch, which was a home run. Can't ask for much more. He is clearly our number two starter, and the last month and a half, he is pitching with authority, and the Red Sox have used every little bit of it. Check back in with you tonight after the game. We also may be doing uh, some football on uh, Matt and John's podcast. We've got the a a AFC South. Maybe do the Colts, Jaguars. We'll, we'll have to see if you're interested in that. Um, I'll let you know as soon as I know more on the time, but... Uh, Definitely be back after the game. Red Sox, Phillies tonight finish up their two-game series before they head home um, and play Tampa for three. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night.